German arms manufacturer Rheinmetall wants to build a factory in Ukraine to produce up to 400 kilo farads 51 Panther main battle tanks annually. Rheinmetall CEO Armin Papperger has brought this up with the German media many times since the start of the year. He said the company was negotiating with Ukraine about possibly investing 200 million euros, 215 million United States dollars, for a new tank factory in Ukraine. However, when asked by Defense News, spokesperson for Rheinmetall, Jan Philipp Weiswang, went into more detail regarding this plan. He reasoned that it was part of a business that was still being guarded, given the sensitive security issues. Several elements of the proposal have left experts skeptical. First, expected production levels appear too high, according to Mark F. Kansian, senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington. The same thing was conveyed by other observers, who said the establishment of a tank factory in Ukraine would face risks in terms of its supply chain. It was stated that producing 400 complete tanks per year is a big job, especially if it is carried out in Ukraine. In comparison, the United States currently produces 100 tanks per year. The need for the Ukrainian military itself is said to be less than 400 units per year. Ukraine had a total of around 800 tanks before the war broke out. Assuming a service life of around 20 years, only around 40 tanks a year are needed, not 400. However, plans to build a factory in Ukraine still have prospects in the future. It would be better if the construction of the tank factory was reviewed after the end of the Russian-Ukrainian war, said observers.